Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are making these gorgeous crochet flower coasters. I'll walk you through step by step what to do for each round. And if you want to follow along with a written pattern, it's available on my website, secretyarnery.com. Included in that pattern is also this larger size if you want to do like a mixed size set. But in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do this small one, which is just right for coffee mugs, teacups, anything like that. These make a perfect little gift for any occasion. Just wrap a little ribbon around them and they make a super sweet crochet gift. To make this flower crochet coaster for beginners, you will need yarn. I'm using four different colors of a worsted weight acrylic, so a size four yarn. Some of it is Favorite from Ice Yarns. I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook. You'll also need a pair of scissors and a needle for sewing in your ends. So let's get started. two different ways to start, either with the magic ring or a chain three. I prefer the magic ring. It's super easy and I'll show you how to sew in your tails so it will never come out. It'll be super secure. And if that's too tricky or frustrating for you, don't worry, you can do either way. All of the rounds are going to be the same no matter which method you choose to start. So put your tail over your non-dominant hand and hold it down on your ring finger. Wrap it around your two fingers making an X. Bring it back underneath your ring finger and also hold it underneath your thumb. Flip your hand over, you'll have a short strand and a long strand. Grab your crochet hook, hook side facing down, slide it underneath the short loop, grabbing the long loop, bringing it through, hook towards yourself, loosen the slack with your thumb, so just kind of ease your thumb off that yarn a little bit so it has a little bit of slack. Go underneath the long strand so it's looped on your hook. Turn your hook facing down. Release your thumb a little bit so that yarn can slide and bring it through that loop. If you want to practice, I will link how to do that in the cards up above. It's just a tutorial just on the magic ring or the magic loop. And chain one. That is going to count as our first half double crochet. If you chain super tight, you can do a chain two. Wrap your yarn into the center of our ring. We're going to do 13 half double crochets. So that counts as our second half double crochet. Our chain counts as our first one. So our chain is one. That is two, three, four. When your tail gets short, just give it a little, a little pull. That'll shrink it right up. We want to make sure we have, we can always access that tail. And now keep going until you have 14 half double crochets, including your chain. So 13 plus your chain. If you'd like to check out my work or what I might be working on, check out my weekly podcasts. So there is my 14, including my chain. To count your stitches, you can count in between these posts. Your chain counts as your first stitch. And then each stitch after, you can just slide them apart a little bit to count them. Or you can look on the edge and you can count your pretty little Vs. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So just make sure you have fourteen stitches. Pull that tail. We want to shrink this circle up until it's closed. If you're using a natural fiber, make sure you don't break your yarn, but you do want to really shrink it shut. So we're going to slip stitch right into the top of this very first stitch. Right there, we're going to slip stitch to join. So slide your hook in. You want to get two strands of that V on the top of your hook. And slip stitch to join. Chain one. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Now we want to sew in that tail from our magic ring. Thread your needle. I like to use a sharp tip needle for sewing in my ends just because they, it won't come out. So my yarn is coming in this direction and coming out, so I want to go opposite direction. So not exactly in where it came from. I'm going to skip a loop or skip a stitch and just go back in the opposite direction. And I'm going to do that all the way around this ring. Making sure my, my needle's not going on to the good side. I'm doing all this on the bad side or the back side of the crochet. All the way back to where it came from. 
And now I'm gonna go in the opposite direction, not in the same spot, I'm gonna pick a different spot and just back a couple stitches, just a bit to hold it down. Just like that. So we've gone all the way around and then back. Now we're ready to cut off this center tail. And now that magic ring won't come undone. It's super, super strong. And that finishes round one with a magic loop. To start round two, grab your next color of yarn. And we want to pop our hook in. We want to start in this stitch here. So the second stitch after our join, right over here. Slide your hook in loop of your new color on your hook, long enough tail to sew in with a needle, bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail, just holding it along the back of your work and chain one. So this counts as our first single crochet and chain one. Into the next stitch, one single crochet, chain one. Into the next stitch, one single crochet, chain one and into the next stitch, one single crochet and chain one. So you can pause the video and keep working along. Each one of these stitches is getting a single crochet and a chain one all the way around our work. So into each stitch, one single crochet and a chain one. So you can pause the video and keep working around and I'll meet you when we get closer to our join. When we get closer to our join, we just want to count our stitches. We want to make sure we have 14 of these single crochets working all the way around. So I just look for where my stitch started in these little stitches. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have two more stitches to make. So my last stitch is going to be on this side picking up that front loop that's kind of hanging down low that lower than the rest and I want to make my next one right underneath this knot right underneath our chain one so I'm just going to push my hook in and it doesn't feel that great you really have to wiggle your hook in but get your hook in there make your single crochet and chain one and now we want to pick up that straggling loop that one sitting right down here in the front match it with its back loop. So just push your hook towards the back and that'll match those up for your last single crochet. Chain one and now we're going to slip stitch right into this right between the legs of our first slip stitch. We're just going to go right into that first stitch right there and slip stitch. So right in between the legs of that first stitch one slip stitch to join, chain one to secure your yarn, cut your yarn leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later, pull your hook up and your yarn through, snug that down to secure, and that finishes round two. start round three, we just want to go in between any of those stitches, so any of those chain one spaces working from the front side, the pretty side of our work. So I'm just going to pop my hook right down in between those stitches. Just like that. Pop your hook in. Loop of your new yarn on your hook, long enough tail to sew in with a needle. Bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail, just holding it along the side of your work, and chain one. Into the very same space, wrap your yarn and make one double crochet. Chain one. Now into the next space, right after that stitch, right here, we're going to make our next cluster so that is starting one double crochet. Leaving those two loops on your hook, wrap your yarn into the very same space, start your second double crochet, leaving those last loops on your hook. So now you have three loops. Wrap your yarn, turn your hook so it's facing towards you, bring it through all those loops, and chain one. Wrap your yarn, we're going to go into that next space right after that stitch right here. 
So wrap your yarn and start your first double crochet, but leaving it on your hook, pushing it up to the fat part of your hook so they're nice even stitches. Wrap your yarn and into the very same space, start your second double crochet, leaving it on your hook, pushing everything up so it's nice and evenly spaced out. Wrap your yarn, turn your hook towards yourself, and bring it through all three loops, and chain one. So wrap your yarn and into the next space, right there. We're going to start our first double crochet, leaving it on our hook. Wrap your yarn, start your second double crochet, leaving it on your hook. And now wrap your yarn, turn your hook towards you, and bring it through all three loops. Chain one. So we're going to do that into every space or in between every stitch from our last round. So starting your first double crochet, pushing everything up onto your hook, starting your second double crochet, pushing everything up onto your hook, wrapping, turning your hook towards yourself, and sliding it through all three loops, and chaining one. So wrap your yarn into the next space after that next stitch. Start your first double crochet, leaving it on your hook. Wrap your yarn into the very same space. Start your second double crochet, leaving it on your hook and finishing that together. So wrap your yarn and take off all three loops. Chaining one. So you can pause the video and keep working around. We want to be doing our double crochets together into each of these spaces. So in between each of our single crochets in the row below, all the way around, and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. When we get back to where we started, we've done 14 of these pairs in between each of those stitches. Now we want to slip stitch into the top of that very first cluster we made, or that very first two double crochets together. It's this stitch right here. That is where we're going to slip stitch. So slide your hook in, two strands of that V on the top of your hook, slip stitch to join, and chain one. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through, and snug that down to secure. And that finishes round three. To start round four, we're just going to slide our hook in to any stitch that is on top of our cluster. But it can be any cluster. We just want to go into that first stitch that is on top of a cluster. So just slide your hook in, two strands of that stitch on the top of your hook, loop of your new color on your hook, long enough tail to sew in with a needle, bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail, you can hold it along the edge of your work, we can work over it a little bit, and chain one. So this counts as our first single crochet. Now wrap your yarn and into the space right after that cluster, right here, we're going to do three double crochets. So one, two, and three. All into the same space going over our tail. Now we're going to drop our tail and into this very next stitch, the first one of the cluster, we're going to do one single crochet. So one single crochet into that first stitch, then into the next space right after that cluster, three double crochets. One, two, and three, all into the very same space. That's giving us our little pretty shells. Now into the first stitch of the cluster, right beside our double crochets, that is where we want to do our single crochet. That pins down our cute little shell. So pop your hook in, one single crochet, and into the space, three double crochets. So wrap your yarn and three double crochets into that space. One, two, and three, and into the very first stitch of that cluster. It's right where our double crochets are touching, right there. That's where we want to do our single crochet. One single crochet, and into the next space, three double crochets. 
So wrap your yarn and three double crochets into the next space. One, two, and three. And into the first stitch of our cluster, right where our double crochets are. That's our single crochet, so one single crochet into the stitch. When you get to your tail, you can just hold that along your work. We can work over it for our double crochets. So wrap your yarn and into that next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three double crochets into the space, into the stitch, right there, one single crochet. one single crochet. So you can pause the video, three double crochets into the space, one single crochet into the very first stitch of the cluster, all the way around your work, and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. So make your last single crochet into that first stitch of the last cluster, one single crochet, and now our last shell, or our last three double crochets, are gonna go into this last space. So don't forget that last space. Three double crochets. One, two, and three. And now we're gonna slip stitch right in between the legs of our very first stitch, right here. We're just gonna go in between the legs of that first stitch, and that is where we're gonna slip stitch. So just push your hook in and make one little slip stitch, and chain one. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through, and snug that down to secure. Sew in your tails, and you're finished. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. We'll see you in the next one. Stay hooked.